Good morning and welcome back to my channel. It's Richard from Power Lines to Power Naps. God, these weeks fly. It's Tuesday again. Yep, day off. Been busy the last few days, a few more people uh, about and uh, things look on the increase business-wise. Raining, raining this morning though and we've popped out for breakfast. Not at Nui's Kitchen, no. For a change, for a change, for a change we are uh, out for breakfast at a nice little Thai noodle shop across the road from Nui's Kitchen. You watch the intro, we'll order the noodles. See you in a minute. Hi, I'm Richard. Welcome to my channel, from power lines to power naps. This is my wife, Nui, and together we both left the UK in February 2022 to start and enjoy a new life and new adventures in Phuket, Thailand. Join us on our new journey together and experiences. Sit back and enjoy. We can't see for the delivery truck, but welcome back. We're literally just across the road from uh, Nui's Kitchen and we've come here. A lovely little noodle shop. The Nui and Marigold. Chicken noodles. Just say in English as well as Thai, but garlic fried chicken 120 baht most things seem to be 120 baht good value these uh, if you live local and eat local you can get some incredibly good local fresh food for a great, great price stir fried pork with corn 100 baht, 100 baht, 100 baht, squid fritters, what a good seafood, veggie spring rolls and dumplings, french fries, 90 baht, so a good choice, even uh, get a sandwich and a burger, great price. Now the family that run this actually live next door to us behind Nui's kitchen so we know the family really well. There's mother, father, daughter, son-in-law, aunties, they all live there, grandchildren and uh, everything's cooked. Everything is cooked fresh by this young lady, look. All the fresh meat, noodles, bean sprouts onions and all the hot water that they steam them in the basket can i can i it's all steamed air fresh beautiful say good morning good morning good morning lovely little place great place everything fresh now you can get drinks uh, you can get drinks but however where are we first of August second of August so today and tomorrow refrain from selling alcohol of all kinds from midnight last night until midnight on the 2nd of August so we got two days uh, uh, no alcohol all over Thailand due to the Buddhist uh, Thai festival of Lent I believe so it's a no alcohol two days but if you're in the know like me I might have already got some in the fridge at home planning Say hello YouTube, good morning. <laughs> hello. Papa, see you are having. What we got, Nui? Kwetiao. Say again. Kwetiao. It's a noodle soup, um, noodle soup with pork, 
and um, chicken. Noodle soup with pork and chicken. Ah. Have you got any? Do you fancy any chili on there? Any? No, no, I don't like chili. I don't like spicy. You don't like chili. You don't <laughs> like spicy. Okay. okay. Enjoy, ah. Huh? Enjoy. Hello, Mai. Hello. Hello, Hello. Hello. So, yeah, I've already said they're na our neighbours. Oh. And we've travelled an awfully long way for breakfast, literally across uh -huh. the road. Fell out of bed and come across the road. Uh -huh. Crispy wontons on the table as well. Uh -huh. Look at that, look at that. Look, I've got chicken. I'm not sure what I've got. Chicken noodle soup with some chicken or pork balls. That looks okay to me. Uh, I did a bit of I did a bit of chili, but every little Thai restaurant you always get these on your table. Sugar? That's for your food, not your coffee. Dried chili. That's super hot. Head, head magma. And then we got chili with fish sauce. Again, very nice. And chili with vinegar. There's a common denominator. Chili with everything. But anyway, Marigolds is come. Let's have a Marigold. Have a quick look at Marigold dish. Good morning, morning Marigold. Good morning. Day off now. Just look what delicacy Marigold's yeah. got for breakfast. Noodles. Noodles? Yeah. Chick chicken's feet. Whoa, 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 whoa. One of those. Chicken. Chicken's feet. Yeah. Now, it was no surprise to me, but it probably will surprise one or two of your viewers, but chicken's feet is a delicacy here. Apparently, they're boiled very long, very slow. That makes them very soft and nice to chew. For me, I love my Thai food, I love my spice, I love my chili, but I love my dried bugs off the markets. But do you know what? I draw my line at chicken's feet. Typically Thai breakfast keeps coming. Oh, ka kai dao. 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 Kai Kai dao. 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 And uh, kai dao, kai dao, fried egg. Mm -hmm. I've got a pao kai dao uh, with rice to share. Uh -huh. what, we, what are you, more chilies for a change and uh, fresh garlic, yeah? Uh. Aloy. Uh, aloy uh. And I'm still through, plowing through my noodles, which is very spicy, but very beautiful. This one, our breakfast. Hmm? Our breakfast. Hmm. Hello, yeah. man. Mm. Hello, man. Very, 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 very tasty. People play. And I suspect it'll be fairly cheap. Yeah. For breakfast for all of us. Free water, if you want free water, you get free water. I've got coffee anyway, let's plow on. How are we doing with the chicken sweet, man? Are you all okay? Ah, good. Good, good. <laughs> right. Okay, Louis, hello. Ah, okay. so, see you after breakfast. Hi. So, Louis, we've had all this for breakfast for three people. Uh, many, many, many dishes, including hello. chicken feet. Which he hasn't had. I think that. <laughs> Call yourself, <laughs> hey? Call yourself a local. Do you how much? 340 baht. Wow. 
Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. 340 baht. How much that in England? In English. Eight pounds, seven, eight pounds. Seven or eight pounds, huh? Seven or eight pounds. Never long, mate. Onwards and upwards. We're now going to ride through. It's not brilliant weather for motorbikes, but we are going to ride through. We've been invited to uh, visit some a Russian family that used to live pretty much nearly next door. But they moved out now uh, due to various things and a new member of the family on the way, so additional room required. They moved to River Wye, so they've invited us there today on our day off for a couple of hours. And River Wye should take us about 20 minutes on the bikes. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. And no rain on the way. We'll see you there. Like I said, bike trip to Hawaii. Hope the rain stays off. Guess what? It didn't. Just hit a big storm, but thankfully, uh, I just pulled under cover. I just pulled under somebody's carport. Well, rain coming down. I'm nearly here as well. Hey ho, welcome to Thailand. It's the monsoon season. Well, it didn't stop raining, so in the end, we had to bite the bully, suck them up, whatever, and we carried on. We've now arrived uh, at our friends. We've moved down here to Rawai. Man, it's really raining hard now. Absolutely throwing it down with rain. But uh, we've arrived. Our very good friends, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Nina, how are you? Nina's growing day by day, and that's one of the reasons they've moved to. They will want a bit more space for more baby things and toys. And we've got uh, little Mark. Where's Mark? He's there. Hello, Hello Mark. And their professional babysitter. Hello, babysitter. Hello. <laughs> and of course, look who else has come. Mary Golden Louie. Hello. Hello, Maggie. Mark's in the room. Mark's in the room. <laughs> Nui's bought some lovely flowers with her. I don't think they'll want watering again today, Nui. Oh, that's nice. Though. Anyway. Beautiful new house. Congratulations. So we're going to enjoy some good time here. Looks like we're going to be uh, eating some delicious Russian fare. And I know it's going to be good. Me and I can cook very well. We've got some Russian eclairs, which look very much like Yorkshire puddings in England. Custard. Say again, you tell the people. He's just custard. Custard? <laughs> wow. Custard. Inside a Yorkshire pudding. No, it's a, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a Russian oh, eclair it's, uh, with custard. Like it must be, but it looks like mushroom or something else. Okay, wow. If you uh, think that it's not enough cream, you can use and I'm sure it'll be amazing. Thank you very much. Let's give it a taste test, eh? Taste test, Nui. It's your day off for eating, not cooking. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. What's it like, Nui? Taste test, please. Yeah, good. Uh, sweet, no? but more nice. Different vanilla custard. Vanilla custard. Yeah. And, what, and you got fruit with it, fresh fruit. Mm. We have raspberry jam, homemade one, wow. vanilla. It's mixed fruit. This is. Oh, this mixed fruit. That's mixed fruit. Quality mixed fruit. This. Uh, this one's raspberries. Raspberries, strawberry. Raspberries. No? Raspberries. raspberries. Mm. And this is if mosquito bites you. 
Mosquito mm -hmm. bite you after. Mos Leave tiger oh. palm, that's good, you know. Mosquito bite you, Nui. <laughs> won't, like, won't live long. Not live long. It won't ah. live long. Anyway, let's give it a test. Very nice, so nice. It looks messy. Mm. Not best. too sweet, but more creamy. Mm. What they call it? Mm. No, not have before in here. What well, you put in it? Cream, uh, milk, milk, wow. um, vanilla, vanilla, flowers. Beautiful, and absolutely. All the flowers. Hmm? All the flowers. Looking like today's day off is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a food um, fest. Well, it is Buddha Day, so no beer, so we have to have food, maybe instead. Absolutely good. Absolutely. Egg, no, milk, sugar. Gorgeous. Hello. Very good. Thank you very much. Ah, what else? And when it's chilled. Cream, I mean. uh, you add uh, butter. Butter? Ah. Yeah, butter, not really salt. Absolutely uh -huh. beautiful. Well, full of food now, aren't we, Nui? Yeah. So we've come down to. Uh, for free food. <laughs> huh? Full for free food. Full of free food. Yeah. We've now come down to Qatar Beach to walk some of it off. Yeah. And he said we're gonna go for massage, but I don't think I can do it because it's too full. Yeah. Too full. Yeah, we were gonna go for a massage, but at the moment too full. Yeah. yeah. So have a little walk on Qatar Beach. Oh, very nice. Say again. Remember when we've been last time? That, um, oh. oh yeah, they put all new pavements down. Oh. Down in That's Qatar. What I want, looking for. And for the floor like this. Proper, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. So the surfing school there, not very busy, but sea's very, very rough. A few people on the beach. Still quite a few people about. So we're going to have a stroll. Oh, walk some of that food off. Lots of we call and have a beer, but it's a no beer day. Look at the massage on the beach is still going, but too damn full. Too damn full of food, man. But hey, it's a day off. I'll have a stroll, see what's about. Skies look a bit black. I reckon we could uh, probably cop another storm, Nui. What do you think up there, Luke? Where? So the storm. Oh yeah. I think if we're not careful. Mm. Looks a little bit. This morning, okay. Yeah, we got wet enough going out there. Oh, the lifeguard. Yeah, you know, there's. <laughs> Officially no swimming in the seas at the moment, but they still put lifeguards on duty. There he is, sat in his box. Still watching out for people's safety. Pretty good, eh? Pretty damn good, even though you shouldn't be swimming. There's some idiots that are swimming. <laughs> and the lifeguards are still on duty to... Uh, risk their lives coming to get you out my advice is just to don't go in the red flags are flying stay out of the water man stay out of the water those currents are extremely strong and if you look let's have a little look at the surf it is very very strong very strong and if you look over there you can zoom in if I can you can see the waves breaking on the rocks on that headland over there you see just how rough strong and powerful it is 
and there's still people out there which is absolutely crazy surfboard or not for me I still think a little crazy I know, but they're risking their lives. The surfer disappeared in uh, like that, eh? Surin Beach the other day. And, uh, uh, yeah, there he is. Look, he's got his whistle out. He's waving somebody back. Come back in line. Back in the line. There was a, a surfer lost his life in. Uh, either Camilla or Surin Beach two or three days ago I was reading he went surfing, he went missing, his body was found two days later on the beach so it is dangerous and I've only got me red huh? energy drink <laughs> wow, wow, just look at the waves over there Big serious waves there, a lot of power. The power of the Andaman Ocean, look at that. I just want to point out that the seas at this time of year, low season, are for surfers and not bathers. They can be very, very dangerous. However, high season, beautiful calm, flat as a mill pond, crystal clear and great for bathers of all ages. Say again. You say with the kids uh, something on your day off. What are you planning? Just for walk to shoe. We don't plan. We don't plan. We get up and go. <laughs> yeah. well, we're now on the beach, but like Nui's pointing out, this beach is sand's really, really flat. Yeah. Because the sea in summer, it's stormy season now. The water gets a bit more tidal and it comes right up almost to the road and over in Patong it even actually goes over the road but uh, it's nice and flat and beautiful to walk on it's a beautiful place to live say again it's a beautiful place to live and work at the same time it's a, it, you're not wrong, Louis. You're not wrong. Uh, I got to work because we need to earn as well. Of course we need to earn. Can't afford that here. That's, not working. that's why when we live here, now we live here, like I said before, you cannot live here like a tourist. You've got to do something. You've either got to have a business, a hobby, get out and do things. You know when we plan when we're in uh, England, yeah. we got to be in Thailand, somewhere we can work and enjoy life at the same time. Of course. And, uh, when we moved out here, we hadn't really selected an area to never. settle. Never. We thought we'd uh, maybe have one month a year, one month in Wahid, one month maybe Chiang Mai. Maybe six months in trying to decide where we were going to stay and settle. Yeah? yeah? But we fell in love with Caron Beach, didn't we? Uh -huh. yeah. So this is where we, we stay. It. We love the place to live here, And also we have, um, we get, make a lot of friends. A lot of friends. Um, yeah, we try to get Richie to uh, live up north. He said it's too remote for him. I could not live. I love to visit the north. I love to visit Nui's family, but for me, it's great for a week. It's remote, it's quiet, but I could not live there because it's just too quiet. Too quiet. You need to have a bit of action. And it's so quiet, Nui wouldn't have been able to have a really very successful business up there. 
cannot earn money. Because you can't earn money out of locals. You cannot earn money, you cannot enjoy life while we're here. You can't earn money out of locals that have got no money. And again, we got to survive as well. So, so we need to earn money. We got to choose a ter I know you said a terrorist. We got to choose a tourist spot. And Caron and Qatar, where we are now, was the place, so. We're not a millionaire, but I'm we're just a bit like. See if we can just uh, show, show you these waves now. Really, really is quite that powerful. The web and the sucker. Oh yeah, it sucks you under and you're gone. You're gone. Gone. So that's about it for today. Hello. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, trying to find a treasure. Oh, he looks like there's a guy metal detecting there. Yeah, but not in the sea. Even in the water. Really? He must have some sort of waterproof <laughs> metal detector. Strange but true. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to finish the day off with the. Uh, Finishing our walk. We're going to finish our walk, see what the weather does. If the food goes down in a little while, we may try a massage. Or we may just go home and relax and have an early night and have a little cheeky uh, non Buddha day beer at home. But don't tell anyone, eh? So thank you for watching. Thank you, Carl. We're going to leave that one here. Subscribers building nicely, slowly again, but I'm looking for the 500 targets. Help to get me there, guys. Help to get me there. Don't like, don't like you. Just press the button. Just, pri <laughs> just press the subscribe button. If you don't like Write any comments. Give me some ideas. Ask me some questions. I'm not one of these guys that wants to use YouTube and come on and tell you what I've had for my breakfast, dinner and tea. I want to get out there and give you some interesting stories. So if you've got a subject you want me to talk about, the bar scene, the bar girl scene, the pitfalls, whatever, get it down in a comment. Thanks again for watching. Until then, we'll see you, see you next time. Say bye.